Police have arrested a 19-year-old London, Ontario man in connection with the theft of 900 social insurance numbers. They were stolen last week through the Heartbleed vulnerability. Senior correspondent Terry Malewski has more on this. Terry. Well, Peter, this does not sound like organized crime. The RCMP have charged a 19-year-old computer student with mischief and unauthorized use of a computer. But there's no allegation that he sold or misused any data that he got. Stephen Solis Reyes of London is said to be a straight-A student in computer science. His mother, Veronica, did not want to talk about it. If you have any questions, you can talk with Faisal Joseph. He's an A student at the University of Western Ontario, 19 years old, very meek, very mild. His lawyer says the RCMP acted quickly. They seized the uh, laptops of everybody at the home about two or three days ago. And he says his client has a history, once hacking into the school system after reporting a weak spot and not being listened to. As a result, uh, he showed them that it should have been taken seriously, was able to get into it. Uh, and showed that anybody could get access to it. The same thing happened often with the Heartbleed bug, with many hackers testing the bug as soon as they heard about it to prove that they could hack sites that were slow to patch it, one of which was the Canada Revenue Agency, which admits bleeding social security numbers during a six-hour attack before the hole was plugged. And that delay remains mysterious. Today, CSEC, the communication security agency, said that it learned of the bug just when the hackers did, long before the revenue agency acted. So did CSEC tell the CRA right then? On that, there's no answer. Obviously, if they say yes, it sounds like the CRA dropped the ball. And if they say no, then CSEC dropped the ball. Peter. All right, Terry. Thank you. Terry Milewski in Ottawa.